What's up guys? Welcome back to JP Street Performance LLC. So today we're on episode 10 of the Frank and Yoda build. Um, we are still working on some metal fabrication, teaching ourselves the metal fabrication part of this. Um, learning a lot through uh, Japan Customs. If you guys haven't seen Carl Fisher's channel, I'll do a link below. We're going to be using his radius gauge to kind of try to determine what our radius is on this floor pan. And we're going to go ahead and kind of learn as we go and get this video started. Thanks, guys. All right. So today we're going to be working on this section here. Um, last time we brought you this, we were able to build this, this corner section there. We haven't had time to cut it out and weld it in yet, but we're going to be working on we got rot here on this bead, this bead, and then here there's a big hole plus some extra rot. So we're going to build this section. And if you look here, there's a nice curve here. We're going to measure that and get this going. So we're going to do it exactly like we did on the last video. We're going to use some tape. I can get you guys kind of situated. Not to fall over. There we go. All right, so, so we're gonna be using this new, just picked this up. I just got shipped out to me last week. Carl, thanks buddy. Um, this is Japan Customs radius gauge. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna find our radius of our bend here. And we're gonna document what it is. It looks like, I'll get you guys over here. The majority of it is a 12 and then it lays flat right at the end. So what we're gonna do We're going to mark this where it starts to lift, which is actually past where we're going to cut, so we're okay. So right here, it's still touching. This radius is a 12, and it appears... This radius, if you guys can see that, yep, this radius, this way, is an eight. So, and it stops right about there. And this one stops right about there. And then it straightens out to a much, much smaller radius. Um, I don't know if I can get anything in there. It's probably about a 36 from here to here. A lot lighter curve, and these are flat. Again, this is a little bit thick, guys, but it's for a floor pan. I think this is 16 gauge. It's what I have lying around and it's what I'm using. So all the other floor pans have come out just fine, adapting it to the uh, other sheet metal there. So the nice thing about doing with the tape is you're able to follow those curves. And we've mentioned this in other videos, kind of reiterating here, but when you follow the curves of the beads and then you lay the tape flat, you kind of know it stretches the tape out and you kind of know you need that much extra material um, to pre-stretch and, and do these beads. So it really helps out with that quite a bit. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to scribe kind of a line where we're going to cut. Yeah. 
just kind of a rough, rough area where we're gonna cut. We'll straighten it out with the actual grinder. But we want a, a line going from here to here, kind of tapered inwards, because we're avoiding, there's another complex curve here. We're trying to avoid that complex curve because it's not rotted, there's no need in making it, so. We'll grab our razor blade. There's location of bead one. Speed four. Let's actually go. We'll make our mark where the radius ends. This is a 12, this is an eight, stops here. And then this final section is a 36. This is approximately here, over, this flat, flat, flat. All right, kind of have a game plan what we're doing. All right, we're gonna get the bead roller set up. Again, we have a little mini English wheel for our bead roller. So we're gonna first kind of set up on that. Um, I think what we're gonna try, we don't know if this is gonna work. We're just kind of giving it a try, guys. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the 12 degree, sorry, the 12 radius and the eight radius into the panel first. Um, and then kind of go from there, get my reamer tool and get rid of some of these edges real quick. sharp edges so we're not working with any sharp edges currently there it goes anymore we got this edge okay. 
All right, there you go. Sharp edges are gone. Okay. So again, I think we're going to try to roll a radius in this area. We know we need this section. Let's see that. So we need from here to here needs to be 12 and then we need an eight going down. So what we're gonna start with is, we're gonna start with the eight, I believe. And uh, we'll kind of go from there on This is a slow way. I mean, I could try to hand bend this or form it with a hammer and a dolly, but I got this little mini English wheel, so I figured we might as well put it to use. Okay. I'm going to start with about there. All right, so here we have the starting of, we use that mini English wheel. Again, it doesn't work that good. It does what I need it to do and it stretches the metal for me, kind of gets it going. So our, if we can see this, our 12 is starting to come along. We need to bring the center up a little bit, but radius wise, it's pretty close. Our eight is what we're working on now. We still got a ways to go on that. And then here at the end should be a 36, which is almost spot on. So from here to here, we'll kind of redraw our lines so we can see what we're doing. So from here to here is 36. From here to here is a 12. And from here to here is an eight. So. All right, you guys, so a little bit more metal work than I was hoping, but so the English wheel got it to kind of stretch, give me that, uh, the bow that I was gonna need in here. Um, but with the complexity of this curve being multiple radiuses, we're just going at it with uh, 
our metal working hammers, sandbag, a couple dollies. This is actually, a, let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, so this is actually a eight radius dolly, which is perfect. So, and you can see, working on our, on our eight radius, we are just about there. I mean, there's, there's a few spots that are low. Um, we need to, we need to finish up about right here. You can kind of see a low spot when you get this low spot hammered out. So the eight is there. Um, we haven't really started working on the 12 yet. The 12 will go from here to here. Um, so we're just going to keep hammering away till we get the shape we want. Um, every once in a while, cause my hands are greasy, just kind of redrawing our stuff. So we know where we're at. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, a little bit of, now we mostly got that eight in here. Um, want to go ahead and get our, our tipping die going. We want to get this tipped up. Um, because it's almost, almost flat here and flat here. So we want to get it tipped up. Again, guys, this sheet metal is a little bit thick for this machine. That's why I'm kind of having to manhandle it a little bit, but it, it works. But it does give a lot of flex to the machine because this should be only for 18 gauge and less above. Um, but this is 16 gauge steel. So it's a little bit thick, but it still does the job. All right, there we go. As you can see, I'm starting to get that edge we want with the radius. So now we just need to find out what angle this sits from this thing, this concave here. So, all right, so I just ran out to the vehicle, to the silica there. So this angle should be, if this was our zero angle, this angle here should be 21.6 and we are only at roughly about nine currently so we're going to keep tipping this in Okay, so see where we're at. Calibrate. Okay. This should be 21, 21.6 is what we're going for. And we have a 21.1, 21.2-ish. So I'm going to call that less than one degree should be good for that section. Um, we have, make sure I can see. Okay. So we want a 12 radius from here to here. And we're pretty dang close now. Uh, again, it wasn't perfectly lined up. Um, hold on. I can't see what we're seeing the end was off so the main part to where that line we drew is where the the 12 radius should be so you can see there's a little bit of a, a gap still but very minor so we'll we'll fine tune that 
And then going this direction, we want from this line here, we want an eight radius. Look at that, I mean, that's tiny little bit of light coming underneath it, but that's pretty dang close for doing by hand. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that for fine tuning. We're gonna go ahead and start our beads now for this floor pan. We're gonna pre-stretch this bead, this bead, this bead, and this bead. And then um, once we get the beads in, we'll check to make sure this is still at 36. Okay, on the pre-stretch, we're actually gonna pre-stretch it the opposite direction. Since we want the beads to raise this way, we're gonna, we're gonna pre-stretch it downwards. So we have the mini English wheel on this top side here. So we got the beads laid out here. Let's move some of this stuff out of our way for now. Um, we're gonna end cap these beads. off the table. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult. All right. Okay. So what we got here so far And recheck our levels because I'm sure they're off now. From here, calibrate. So, yeah, we're gonna have to tip this in. Not quite sure how we're doing that yet, but we're gonna have to tip it in right next to this bead because that's where it, it bends. So, we need to tip this in more to get our 21 degrees back as we're currently sitting at a whopping 
17. So we lost some by hammering this down. And then we're also going to need to finish We got our, basically our 12 degrees is pretty damn close. Or sorry, 12 radius. Our eight is still pretty close. We just lost it in here because of this. So what we need to do is we need to tip in this, bring this back up, and then we'll figure out what to do here. All right, you guys, so I just did a quick test fit. It's actually fitting fairly good. I need to get this to kind of step down more. Um, we're hitting in some corners here. So we're working on getting this uh, rolled over here. Okay, so let's see if we can get you to see this. A lot of handwork. We're gonna have to remake this bead, um, but all right, there you guys go. There's our eight. We got a couple little low spots. I'm gonna need to hammer out a little bit more. You can see there's my twelve. And then we have we want twenty one point six. That is sitting at twenty one point seven. I mean, it doesn't get much closer than that for the step up. So getting closer again, you guys. Lots, I mean, you guys have seen lots of, uh, lots of hard work here, uh, handcrafting this. Um, this anvil helped kind of get, I kept, what I kept running into is I kept running into, I'd make the radius this way, but then this radius would get crushed. So finally have a radius going both directions. So this little flat spot right here, I still need to work out. You guys can see that. So um, we're going to go do a quick test fit, see how we're looking, see where we need to bend, and we'll go from there. All right, so 
Here's our three beads. Those line up beautifully. Um, looks like we're going to need to uh, clearance this corner here. There's a gap. It's the right angle, but we're this corner's too low, so we're going to need to bring this corner out. And then also, um, looks like we need to bring this down. This section here needs to come down a bit more. Um, we'll probably roll this over the uh, the anvil some more. Try to get a sharper bend out of this, kind of right where that uh, bead ends there, and then hopefully get a tighter radius there. And then this we can probably just press into place once we get it. It needs a little bit more here. But I think once we clear this corner, this will sit a little more flush because right now it's rocking on that, that corner there. So here and here. All right, you guys. Kind of double checking my work, looking at it. I actually don't even need... Um, plug this in. All right. So I don't even need this section here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and notch this kind of out. Just get rid of that all together because the rot doesn't start till over here on the, on the stuff and up here. So we're gonna go ahead and notch that out and then we're working on getting this curve down more and then we'll rebead this one again. We might just rebead this one as well because it's right on the crease. Well, here it is, guys. We'll planish some of this stuff out um, before we weld it in and paint it, but that is our complex floor pan. Take a look at how it looks inside. So it's gonna be one, two, three, plus the fourth. There you guys go. You see our beads, slide this over, line up beautifully, all four beads. The complexity of this curve lines up beautifully. When we get it set in there too, it'll we'll be able to kind of clamp it and this, this area will sit way lower once this area is down, so we can kind of clamp it and straighten it out. But for the most part, this radius matches, this radius matches, and all the beads match. So we're gonna call that done. Well, that's episode 10 of the Frank and Yoda build, you guys. Um, again, we're just kind of learning as we go. Not all of it's perfect. Um, we're perfecting our craft as we go along, learning a lot online, learning a lot by doing. Um, for the most part, most of the floor pans are done now. So um, I got a few other little tiny patch panels. We're not going to bore you with those videos. We just wanted to kind of show you some hand tools and hand equipment plus a bead roller, what you can do with just a bead roller. So anyways, you guys, stay tuned until the next episode. Thanks for watching.